Welcome to part two of my flexible repertoire for white, starting with one night of three. My name is Grandmaster Felix Boberger. I'm from Austria. I'm a multiple time Austrian champion. And in this uh, repertoire series, I'm really happy to, um, to introduce you to, to my style of playing the one night of three. I want to give you a full repertoire with white, a very flexible repertoire, not making you, um, not making you just memorize all sorts of computer variation, but variations, but providing you with uh, very practical ideas to uh, to surprise your opponents, um, giving you uh, giving you a very very easy positions to play out of the opening, hopefully. So in part one of this series, we mostly uh, already had a look at Black's Fianchettos, Fianchettos, so with b6 and g6, or b6 or g6, uh, where Black Fianchettos his bishops here. In this part, uh, we will mostly uh, focus on black uh, occupying the center with either d5 uh, or c5 or both of them. Uh, so one uh, very important position in this chapter is this kind of cl classical setup here uh, when black is inviting uh, us to play the Catalan here. But we are not um, really fighting in this huge theory mass here with d4, but we are rather going to opt for 6b3 here. Um, Playing for a more solid and slower game uh, where we, again, we have some practical ideas here, um, not going into the full theory. So this will be uh, quite a big topic here, this position. Um, and obviously we will have a look at all of the sidelines here. For example, second move b6, quite topical. Second move knight d7 also, uh, quite a topical line. Knight c6 as well, aiming to, the, to play e5 and here. This line after d4, bishop f5. I will have a rook sacrifice waiting for you here, uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, after g3, one line which I would briefly like to mention here, one of my favorite line, in, favorite lines in the whole knight of three g3 setup. Here is this um, d4 line with c, connected with c4, and after knight b7, c5, e5, queen b3 is still um, a line which is not so well known with queen e3 check as an idea. Looks very creative. Uh, creative is it also, uh, since after black is um, forced to play bishop e7, now knight h4 with the idea to uh, pin the bishop here, um, knight f5 coming. And I really enjoyed this position uh, over the board, always to play it. And yeah, I hope I can I can show you some some interesting practical ideas here in this in this video series. One of my favorite lines, as I said, since it has a tremendous practical value in my opinion, to surprise your opponent with moves like queen b3, queen e3 check, uh, which in most cases won't be expected. Uh, one other part is obviously also where black is aiming for this type of uh, English setup here. And after c4, knight c6, knight c3, we are not giving black that many options. Uh, since now after g6, we aim for e3, playing very concrete, concretely here with d4. Um, posing serious uh, theoretical problems here for black. And after uh, after e5 here as well, not giving black time to uh, build this kind of uh, Botvinnik triangle, but we will immediately again strike with e3 and d4, aiming for, an, for a concrete initiative out of the opening. One of the toughest line for sure, for sure is the, is the uh, four knights English here, and after knight f6, we go for g3, a very solid and strategical um, way to play this opening. And black has many different uh, setups here. There is one full video uh, on g6 here after d4, cd4, knight d4. Uh, we spend a lot of time here analyzing all sorts of different black setups connected with d6, connected with queen a5, with queen b6, connected with knight xd4. Uh, so we really do one big deep dive in one of the videos here. Another video which is only uh, analyzing d5 and after cd5, knight d5, bishop g2, we have again many uh, nice and concrete ideas, even at some point with g6 connected with h4, h5. So again, many, uh, many challenging ideas uh, which black needs to solve over the board against us. Uh, one line which has um, created quite a lot of headache for many white players recently is the Duke of Tarash. Uh, it's a very active continuation here after bishop c5. Uh, very tough to get an opening advantage out of it. Um, but here I would like to 
recommend Nitec C6, um, kind of an overlooked uh, uh, continuation here, which is not analyzed as heavily as the um, as the mainstream Knight B3. And I hope to be able to provide you with some uh, some ideas here as well with some uh, practical value, which again, I'm aiming for moves which black is not likely to expect during a game, which are which come as a little bit of a surprise, but still uh, have some, some venom in them. So thank you for watching it already for this far, and I hope that you will find find value in this in this video series. Uh, for me again, it is very special to make an opening repertoire on on one night of three since it's an opening. I really have a special connection to. Uh, it's a very flexible opening. You don't have to uh, you don't have to learn a lot of concrete variations. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video series, and I wish you a lot of. Uh, fun watching watching the material thank you for watching